More than 18 million Americans over the age of 65 require help with basic daily tasks, also referred to as activities of daily living. The inability to perform these tasks can lead to unsafe living conditions and poor quality of life. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the six ADLs and how to evaluate someone's level of independence when performing these activities. Hi everyone, Rob King from Valley Senior Advisors. Recently, I've been getting quite a few questions about activities of daily living, so I wanted to make a video to cover the topic in detail. So what are activities of daily living? Activities of daily living, or ADLs, are the activities that individuals do on a day-to-day -day basis to independently manage their lives. A person's ability to perform these ADLs is a measure of their functional status and their functional age, and it includes the following six categories. Number one is ambulating. That's a person's ability to move their body and to walk independently. Number two is feeding. That measures an individual's ability to feed themselves independently. Number three is dressing, and that measures an individual's ability to select appropriate clothing for the weather and climate and also apply that clothing correctly. Number four is personal hygiene, which includes things such as bathing, grooming, and dental hygiene. Number five is continence, which is a person's ability to control their bladder and their bowel function. And number six is toileting, which measures a person's ability to navigate to the toilet, use it correctly, and effectively clean themselves. As we age, we may lose our ability to perform these activities. And the cause of that could be one of many things, such as acute illness or neurological disorders, such as Alzheimer's. When we lose the ability to perform ADLs independently, it requires us to have dependence on others to live a safe and full life. Many choose to seek out caregivers or assisted living. Typically, when an individual needs assistance with two or more ADLs, they're a candidate for assisted living. So how do you evaluate someone's independence in performing ADLs? There are several different functional tests that are used to assess and measure someone's ability to perform an activity and the degree that they can perform that activity independently. One of the more common tests is the Katz Index of Independence. That was founded by Dr. Sidney Katz in 1950 who actually coined the phrase activities of daily living. Most of these tests work very similarly but are different in format and the questions that are asked. Generally, a person is observed performing activities and they're scored on their ability to perform those activities independently. Those scores are then summed together and they're given a composite score. The higher the score, the more independent an individual is, and the lower the score, the less independent an individual is. The less independent that an individual is, the more they should look into assistance with their daily lives to avoid major accidents such as falls that can become worse and worse for an individual as they age. If you would like a free evaluation of your ADLs, give us a call and one of our care advisors would love to help you with that. All right, that's it for today's video. If you got value from this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You can also hit the notification bell to be notified of when we post new videos. Valley Senior Advisors is committed to helping you find the best senior care in the Phoenix area. If we can help you, give us a call. Our services are 100% free. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.